On the 21st of December 2024, the unthinkable happened when it comes to drone light shows, and that is a drone ejected from the fleet and went into the audience area. Now, unfortunately, the drone in question struck a member of the public, which was a seven-year-old boy, and that boy had to, unfortunately, go through some heart surgery. And, of course, we wish, wish this child and his family all the best, and, and, and hopefully he gets better. Now, I wanted to make this video because there's a lot of information going around. There's a lot of talk about what happened and, and, and where the blame lies and all the rest of it. And I wanted to talk about where the investigation will focus because this is actually very, very important and when it comes to moving forward. So this is what we're going to talk about in this video. Hi everyone, I'm Stephen from The Flyby Guys. Uh, yeah, not the best subject to talk about, I'm afraid, and it really pains me to really, really talk about this because when I seen this, my, my heart just sank, not only for the child, because this is, this is, you know, this is not something that you, that you want to see. Also for the team as well, that we're obviously operating this, because I think for, you know, also for them, this is devastating as well, but obviously more so for the child and the family in question. Now, there's people talking online, X and Reddit and whatnot, they're talking about the, um, and the drones uh, and, and how the focus of what happened was the drones' fault. Uh, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's purely a system. But we're going to watch the video now and I'm going to, we'll just talk through this um, and we'll do this together and, and hopefully you have a better understanding at the end. So let's, let's have a look at this now. So everyone is watching, obviously, and they are what should be the safety area. Uh, we call this, uh, the, this is the audience area. And right now when the drones are lighting up, we can see something is wrong. Drones are falling out of the sky and then all of a sudden one drone comes out and then actually comes into the audience area and we can actually hear it whiz back. Now, this to me is the focus of the investigation. Now, for many of you, you're probably thinking, yes, it's the drone. No, it's not the drone. It's actually what we call the geofence. Every drone light show has a geofence. In fact, they have two geofences, okay? And the first geofence is your first line of defense, and then the second geofence is your second line of defense. Let's look at an image that I've actually created. Now, I'm not using any images that has come from any drone light show because I don't want to... Uh, bring any focus to anything. So I've just created this image and this is this is kind of how how we do it and how we plan a show. So you can see here that we have an image and this is over water and you can see the audience area is behind. Now the audience area could be on land, it could be on the sea, you know, it doesn't really make much difference. But the green box here is what we call the show box. That is where the drones will be. That's where they will perform. So that's the area. Now Depending on the size of the fleet that you have, if you have 200, 500, 1000, the show box will be of a certain size. And then so forth for the other boxes as well. If a drone decides to leave that, that, that area, it will hit the inner geofence or the first, first geofence. But every, every system has its own names, what they call this, but we'll, but we'll call this the inner geofence. When it, if, if a drone hits the inner geofence, the motors will shut down. Now, based on the height of the drone and the velocity of the drone, based on the area that we calculate, this is the size of the geofence. So, if a drone is going at its highest velocity and it's at its highest height, of course, we make the area much larger. Uh, if, that, if that inner geofence fails, there's the outer geofence. And again, we have an area which is in between the audience area, which allows, based on the velocity and the height, that the drone will land before it hits the audience. Okay? This is all based on calculations, and this is what we rely on. And it works for us, it works for many companies, 100%. We have to rely on this. Now, how do we test this? Well, we would go walking around. We would take a drone to the inner geofence. You might get the color blue, and then you go to the outer geofence, it might go to the color red. 
That's how we know. If you're on water, you'll use a boat. Simple as that. But we'll go to all the corners and we'll check everywhere to make sure that it, it, it is valid. Now, when you launch a drone light show, if you do not have the geofence loaded, you are not able to launch a drone light show. So I think that this is where the focus of the investigation will be. Again, just going back to the video, and if we watch it again now, again, we can see that, you know, the drones are not behaving a certain way. So the drones are out of alignment. Now this could be anything. It could be a calibration issue. To be honest with you, this is not my focus of what went wrong. Now, a drone did eject. Yes, that might happen even if you have just one drone. But the focus here is not the drone. It's unfortunate what happened with all these drones. It really is unfortunate. Um, but the focus is why did a drone leave leave the area? This is the focus as far as I'm concerned. And I know that uh, Sky Elements are working with the FAA and the NTSB in order to um, you know, find out what happened. And, and, they, and they will, you know. Um, and I hope that that's done very, 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 very swiftly, and and everyone can move on, because this is a very, very unfortunate incident. And we, you know, in the drone light show sector around the world, this is not something that we really like to see. And I really hope that you know that everyone finds out what happened and why this was allowed to happen. It's not easy, and it's you know when I see this, it's just it's it's it is heartbreaking, really is. Anyway. Um, I hope that this was helpful and helps you understand a little bit about what goes on in these drone light shows. It's not as simple as just a drone and people talking about the firmware and whatnot. This, please, you know, you know these the, these operations are very very complex. There's lots of moving parts, and you know, there's a lot of dedicated team who work very hard to make things work. And to when something like this happens, of course, then. It, it's, it's not good for everyone, and we all have to look at ourselves in a sense, but let's hope we get a solution. Thanks everyone, and we'll see you in the next video.